Irving, may I have a word? Of course. Is something wrong? <sighs> it's Elias. I've never seen him like this. He's sweating profusely and he's been like this all evening. Do you think it's the staff? Seems more than likely. You should check up on him. Elias? <clears throat> uh, blast! Irving, I... I'm sorry, you just startled me is all. Next time I'd appreciate a warning. Forgive me, but I must admit, I'm a bit concerned. Is everything alright? <laughs> Better than alright. I'm closer than I've ever been. The limits, the edges of the astral space. Many of them aren't limits at all. They're more like walls. Arcane barriers built to thwart a probing mind. Which means there could be any number of things on the other side. All that's left to do is break through. I can feel them bending under my will. I just need to concentrate. Are you sure these barriers are breakable? I know you've searched diligently. We should consider the possibility that Akmanos isn't present in the staff at all. Ridiculous. He is. I'm sure of it. I just need more time. I see. Pace yourself, friend, my friend. I can't have you overexerted. We need you sharp on the battlefield. I know. I'm sorry. I don't have any more for you right now, but Corrin's recent discoveries are promising. Is that so? Perhaps, though, not as promising as I might have hoped. A staff forged before the Calamity is bound to be steeped in more history than you can fathom. The arcane weapon has gone by many names. Miramark, the Dungeons of Yi, the Binding Branch, what is this, Fire Emblem 7? The Black Rose of Corella. We've traced the staff to various historical accounts and legends over the centuries. Good. That just shed some light on the nature of this necromancer who wielded it. I thought so too, but about 300 years ago, the trail simply runs cold. I can't find any known reference to the staff between then and when we first laid eyes on it in Drakenwald. That is troubling. Don't give up the search. I'm sure something will turn up. That may be, but I'm not convinced the Order of Eternals, or the Mystic Council for that matter, is sharing any everything they know. With your permission, I'd like to present my findings to them. Perhaps then they will see fit to disclose more relevant lore, however guarded it may be. If it's my blessing you want, you've had it all along. I don't know where we'd be without your scholarship. I'm sure of it. Your vote of confidence is much appreciated. In time, I will do it justice. You already have. Sloane, I'm surprised to find you wandering about so late. These caverns are safer than they once were, thanks to us. Yes. That they are. Well, good night. Actually, Irving, I was hoping I might catch you. It's about my father. Of course. I want to assure you I'm doing everything in my power to avoid a conflict. If we topple Varric without coming to blows with Valmyrans, we will. But that's just it. You can't. What? What do you mean? Irving, my father is not the kind of threat that can be ignored. Turn your back on him, for instance, and he'll stick a knife in it. If your father's troops had reinforced Canopy Bridge, we would have seen the end of this revolution. We don't have the numbers to go chasing after him. Even if we did, we'd be fighting on enemy territory. Every day we delay the inevitable. If we, if he amasses enough strength, he'll stop us dead in our tracks on the road to Sojin. <sighs> Are you proposing we march everyone right into whatever Henry Valmyrin's prepared for them in the forest? No. No. We remove him quietly. Then, I become the head of House Valmyrin. Fear is his singular method of governance. His grip on his people is tight, but brittle. If we break it, the people of Canopy will follow me to Sojin. Still. Sloane, he's your father. I know you two had your differences, but isn't this the man who raised you? That's cute. Differences? That's the understatement of the century. And no, not in the slightest. I was raised exclusively by tutors and maids. Gods. I wouldn't know the first thing about sneaking into the Valmarin Manor. Neither would I. Then why even suggest it? Because I know someone who does. 
And he's agreed to help us. Hmm. Are you sure he can be trusted? Perhaps he's more loyal to your father than you expect. I'm insulted at the suggestion. I've never wrong about my people. About people, especially men. <laughs> this one couldn't think for himself to save his life. Especially if the request came from my lips. I see. At any rate, you'll meet him in the morning. I just need to convince you there's no way around this. You've made up your mind then? Very much so. Well, I've learned better than to, I've learned better than to try and change it. You're not half bad. Then I've taught you well. Anyway, as you were saying, it's late. Good night. Good night, Sloane. I do hope you're getting yourself. I do hope you know you, what you're getting yourself into. Don't worry, Irving. I've been thinking about this for quite some time. We are ready to make the push for Sojin. We have heard. We have everything we need. Nearly everything. We still need a realistic plan to hold the kingdom together once we oust Varric. I don't imagine the set the forefront of Sarah's mind. It's no great boon to Aramor to have its neighbor constantly plagued by rebellion. Of course, it's on my mind. I know we have Delian nobility among us. What would they suggest? Naturally. It's simple, really. Gather all the heads of Delia's leading families for a meet. Then, we have them vote for a new royal family. Was the corruption of the throne not what got us here in the first place? Maybe so, but at the moment, Delia requires stability. It takes centuries to carve out the territories it encompasses. Leave the nobility out of important discussions, and it will fracture right back into a million pieces. Monroe happens to be right. Any other form of rule would have would never be seen as legitimate. And therein lies the power and downfall of the monarchy. The unrelenting need for a ruler with a command with the command to wield control and the strength of will to resist it. In the long history since the calamity, those who possess both can be named in a single breath. But how will we win the support of the nobility before the gap we create with, Varric with Varric's absence? First, we dispose of my father. That will win the support of all the houses in Canopy. As the head of House Valmyron, I can legitimize our cause. I thought your father disowned you and stripped you of your titles. Yes, I'll state the obvious. He's too proud to admit that to his own people. I doubt even Varric knows. And if he does, should go alright. That won't matter. Doesn't sound like this stayed that said much of a secret. Perhaps not to Rumamonga to a Rumamonga. Watch your tongue, witch. Listen, we need to remember who's the real who the real enemy is. Yes, Henry Valmyron. I don't suppose you've already come up with a plan. <laughs> I have, but without help. Allow me, but not without help. Allow me to introduce Braxton of Birchwood, the son of a former tutor of mine. He serves as my Furnal's personal cartographer. Hello, I must admit this is most ex this is more exciting than I've more exciting than I've had in months. It's a pleasure to meet you all. And what use would we have for a cartographer's son? I assure you. I assure you it's my I assure you my knowledge of geography is quite extensive. I make a valuable diplomatic asset. Uh, the voice I'm giving him does not match his actual voice. Fuck. I can name the capital of every nation in, on Atlanta Varroa, as well as all of the minor outlying kingdoms of Alithia. Uh. Yes, Braxton, and we take your word for it. To answer your question, Monroe, as paranoid as my father is, he's constantly employing his architects to design new passages and methods of escape. The passages change frequently, enough that my father has a new map of them drawn up every year. Maps that Braxton was able to get his hands on for me. Indeed. Indeed. The network is quite extensive. Though tree trunks and branches and roots... Through tree trunks, branches and roots, though I'm not sure it would be quite appropriate to... Braxton, would you please show our friends what you've brought for me? Of course. Yes, of course. Right away. Well, I must say, this certainly looks promising. If we enter the southeastern tunnel, I should be able to navigate to the manor's atrium with ease. 
though I do hope you don't intend to seriously harm Lord Valmyron. Not any more than necessary for him to see reason. Very good. Ah, very good. He is, after all, a reasonable man. We should instruct our troops to follow about a day behind. Once a task, our task is done, we muster what force we can in Canopy and set out for sojourn. Lincoln, can you make the preparations? Mm -hmm. Of course. Alright, everyone. Everyone else. You should make preparations of your own. We won't be returning here for some time. Oh, this is truly exciting. History in the making. I wonder if I'll have a page or two devoted to myself in the records. Perhaps a footnote is more reasonable. Alright, welcome back to another part of Dark Deity. We're here for Chapter 23, Sins of the Father. And with that out of the way, let us advance forward into the chapter. After taking Canopy Bridge, only one strategic target remains between the Revolution and Sojourn. Henry Valmyron. The overseer of the Canopy region, he has been terrorizing the area for years. If the revolution seeks to rebuild Delia after defeating Varric, Henry must go. His malice is simply too dangerous. Nobody knows this better than his disgraced daughter, Sloane. And here we are. How's that for service? Excellent. Thank you, Braxton. It's best if you stay out of trouble for now. You know, I was glad to be rid of this place, but it's good to be home. Sloane, promise me something. If your father yields, you'll spare his life. <laughs> That's quite an amusing image, actually. I can make the promise with confidence, Irving. He won't. Quite right. You're right about that, daughter. Lord Valmyron. There's one way out of this for you, and we're offering it now. Surrender your claim on your lands and release your people from your wrath. Ah, you've brought guests. I'm glad to see you're making friends, Sloane. But this is more than I expected. I'll have to find a way to accommodate. Has he got fucking clones? I always thought one of him was too much. He's form-splitting. I've never seen someone do it more than twice. What? But in your chapter, you did it more than twice. Which one do I hurt? Any of them. If we hurt one, we hurt them all. Come on. I kind of like this music. It's a good theme. <sighs> Alright, let's hope I don't fuck up too much this chapter. It is relatively early in the morning for me. I'm basically fresh out the shower. I have my first cup of tea of the day. Um, fresh. So, uh, I haven't drank any of it yet. So, I'm pretty tired compared to normal. Why I didn't wait to record later, don't ask me. I just didn't. But, um, we'll have to worry about that in future. Let us make headway into this chapter, shall we? So he's... Right, let's have a look. So he drops a tier 4 token. That's pretty spicy. And they all have a different tier 4 spell. Okay, well those two both have Astral Annihilation. This guy has tier, uh, tear Rift. This guy also has Rift. And this guy has Vern Tide. 2000 HP. Fuck me. What do these do? Right, okay. Uh, actually, let me... Right, who are we going to send which direction? Because I'm going to have to split people up to deal with this motherfucker. Mm. That is a good question. Uh, we'll figure it out as we go. I assume, there's a, I assume those are chests, actually, yeah. So I do want to go get all of those. Sears... In fact, what's his hit rate? What's this one's hit rate? Oh, 70 accuracy, yeah. Bianca can't fight that. I was going to send Bianca to the one with the, high, with the highest hit rate, but I can't do that now. You probably got good hit rate, 40, 47, 50, yeah. 47, yeah, so Sia can go deal with one of these guys down here, one of these ones. We've I mean, got zero true speed, so he'll never double, which is great. Yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. In fact, do uh, the, one of these have true speed? Right, so we just got like... 
Wow, yeah. I don't, I'm still wondering how true speed's calculated. Is it strength? I honestly have no idea. Well, it's not like it matters. Would have been something to that would have been nice to have known much earlier, but without further ado, let's actually make headway into this chapter after I spent ages fucking around doing nothing. Right. Well, here's an armored boy. Mage, go this way. Yep, and we'll get to see the animation of Vernon Tide before he gets to use it. Because I gave her a tier 4 weapon. That's cool as fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? That looks lit. I'm wondering what that looks like in a crit. Yeah, no wonder that has high accuracy. It's covering the entire battle screen. How does that miss? And here I thought I'd seen it all. That's an okay level up. Right. Um... Why can't you attack from range? You have magic. Do I have to manually equip you with a spell to do it? Equip you with Mystic Barrage. There we are. Wow, okay. Yeah, what's the rest of that? That's uh, quite high, if I do say so myself. They've also got pretty good hit rates, which I don't like. 34% is quite high. Especially with 29 damage coming out of it as well. I know that uh, Maeve isn't particularly tanky, so... Uh, Bianca... I guess Bianca's gonna go this way. Ooh, she can't kill. If she gets another proc of that, another Storm Strike or similar proc, we'll be fine. Hey, all three. Completely unnecessary. Right. Who's going this way? Who's going to be dealing with that one? So, you have 74 avoid. 79 avoid, even. Sia has 77 avoid. I guess we can send you this way. Wait, we're we going to send Irving. We're going to send Irving to the... Is... Uh, I think sending Irving up is what I want to do. So, I probably should have positioned him differently. But, yeah. We'll send Irving up. We'll send Monroe up. We'll send Faust right. We'll send you to go get those chests. We'll send... I don't really want to send all my mages right. We'll send Caius right. You can be the heel at the top. You can go left. You should have pretty decent... Yeah, you're 55 avoid. Fenton will go left. And you can be the heel at the left side. Although, two of these are going to converge in the middle. But that's by the by. I do want to try and get all these chests. I don't know how many I'll be able to get, but we'll see. Alden. We could really do with some magic damage on left side. The left side is going to be able to, we're going to be joining up with right side, with middle side. So we're actually going to send Alden to the right. Yeah, okay. I might end up cutting some of this chapter out just as I traverse to the boss and head for the chests. So this might get cut down. Right. There's that one dead. Really? Got hit by a 17? It's rude to stare. That's fucking annoying, but whatever. Nothing I can do about it. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Well, here you go, Fenton. You get... And Fenton dodges a 68. And hits a 61. What is this? It's Fenton with a hit weapon as well. He's got garbage hit rates. Where are they going? Now, in reality, I should send a group this way. Fizzy drink. What does that do? Is that a healing item? Presumably. Yeah. Wow. Full heal. Okay. Right. Let's do it. Alden. I've got it. Right. How much damage does he do? 16. Oh, boy. In fact, he does less than his fucking allies do. What is that? I guess it's because of... Yeah, because it's holy versus uh, arcane. Right, so we want to bait one of these guys in. So let's do that. Can he move? Maybe. But we're out of his range anyway, so it's not like it matters. Faust, go help out. Caius, you can head to the right, actually. We'll send Caius and uh, Ren to the right. Right. In position. Oh, wow, you don't double this guy. Never mind. Really gonna try it doesn't matter whether you double him, because he's dead. How much true speed did that guy have? 
to not get doubled by Bianca. Wow, that's great. Because Bianca's got pretty good true speed. Yeah, 31. Who's got my highest? 35, 25, 22, 18, 34. I don't know why I'm looking at this now, but I feel like doing it. 38, is that my highest? Probably. You have 35, that's pretty good. Yeah, 38 is probably my highest. Anyhow, unimportant. Heal her. I can work with this. It'll do. Right. As you command. Can you you, you just hit him, get yourself some you missed. Good job. See ya, finish him off. Thank you. Fine by me. It's not fine by me. I would have preferred more. But I'll take decks, I guess. Here. Right, Monroe. It takes. Everybody, forward Onward. march. Onward. But how much of void do you have? You've only got 59. He's got a really low hit right on you. So you should be fine. My shield is yours. So Bianca should actually be fine. And now they're coming back this way. The enemy path thing is pretty strange sometimes, but whatever. Blur. And again. Okay, so he can move. So that means that we now know the clones can move. Good to know. I would like to know how you fare against him. Brilliantly, in fact. How perfect. He's got all... Wow, I love that he's got a generic sprite. That's uh, very nice. I love enemies with generic sprites. When they really shouldn't have generic sprites. How lovely. Because that's exactly what he looks like. Right, then you can take him out. And given that's how this is going down here, Alden can go right. The right-hand group is much smaller, I am realizing, when they've got a lot more of the map to cover, but these guys are going this way, so... Can do. Right, Bianca, kill him. Almost. That's fine. Have you taken damage? You've taken one. Well, no, it's because you heal. What am I on about? Right, heal. In fact, if I'm sending Bianca there, I don't really need to send anyone else this way, so, yeah. Everybody else go this way. In fact, these guys go right. These guys can go to the sand, um, go into the middle, I guess. Yeah, sure. That implies, in fact, that implies that the five place is one of the exit points for this, uh, one of this guy's escape routes. How very original. Right. These guys. Monroe. Um... Using your new tier 4 spell, give him a cook. It's pretty nice. I'm looking forward to seeing that as a crit. Maeve. Deal 36. No double, that's annoying. True speed of 34 to a true speed of 30, yeah. I think you're going to get doubled by him, but that's fine. Oh wow. Oh, that's not good. If Monroe dies, that'll be a problem. Yeah, if Monroe dies, we will be in a bit of a, a sorry state. You know, it, it's really confusing when the enemies with hammers, yes, they are hit hammers, but have they have higher have, they have higher hit rate than everyone else. Oh god. Hey, we, well, we get to see Lotus Flash's crit. Let's see Lotus Flash's critical animation. Okay, yeah. As expected, it's the bluish purple flames instead of the orange ones. But he is in dire need of healing. He will understandably target her. Because she has a he has a higher hit rate on her. I don't need to see these combats. I hate that the sand dragged on. What? Did they all just heal? They did. They all just healed. For the love of fuck. 
what fun this will be. It's because of you, you piece of shit. Fuck you. That's why he's with two healers, isn't it? So he can heal infinitely, you prick. Oh, killing this guy's going to take fucking forever. I mean, he will never hit you. Well, actually, Stop I'll do. Poking me. Do this. Just because she does way more damage to the healer guy than Faust does. I'm on another level. That was a great level up. That's actually really good. Go here. Attack this one. Right. He is nearly dealt with. On the move. Right, let's draw some of them in with these two. The hunt is on. And then you can clean up. These guys are also going to come help in the middle. Ah, uh, what fun this will be with them healing every fucking other turn, probably, with the healers around them. That's actually frustrating. Knowing that they've got healers is actually frustrating. May finish this one off. Experience is a fine weapon. And can you kill him? No, we'll just leave you in the back of them. Oh boy. Well, I mean, he's healing. Strength is the only path that was a terrible level up. Really? Hit by 31. And then you missed an 87? Are you fucking kidding me? What is this? Are you joking, RNG? Mate, I'm already hating this chapter. This will serve me well. Oh, tea's so good. Right, sorry. <laughs> Oh shit, they have good hit rates. Fuck. Fuck. I made to retreat with him a little bit. Oh my god. Wait, what did he heal? Why did he get healing? What? How come this motherfucker got healing? What? I'm so confused. Why are some of them healing? Excuse me? What? Effort duly rewarded. Yes, yes, anyhow. Forward march. Yeah, this isn't looking particularly great for him. For Ren. Aye. Aye. So he gets attacked by them more. Well, I can heal him. If I back him up a tile. And it's having pop holy water. All the, you know, that's a little bit of overkill. Just a little bit. Right, there's this motherfucker dead. Jesus. Right. Faust. Have fun with this guy. Have fun with the old man. Who's left to move? Caius? Okay. Oh boy. A 2k H people and constant healing. Everybody's favorite combination of game mechanics. Lots of hit points and persistent healing. What joy. And here I, thought I'd seen I mean, it'll be a great way to farm shit tons of EXP. Oh. <laughs> oh. I hate this so much. Bianca, please kill the healer. Thank you. There's one dead. One extra one dead. You two are just going to feast on this guy for a little bit. Attacking on both player and enemy face. And hopefully, you'll slowly but surely whittle him down. Obviously, that's, they're not going to be my only way of damaging him. We're going to get everybody else to attack him eventually. Alden will probably... But what's his res stat look like? His defense is really low, so Bianca will have a field day with him. So you'll probably enjoy having fun with him as well. Uh, I'm pretty scared to move to attack with anyone else. Just because these guys do a lot of damage.
Okay, you killed them. That's good. On the move. They're never going to hit him, so it doesn't matter. Right, top group. Monroe, try it. Hopefully one of these... No, only the old fucker can Whatever attack you. Takes. Heal Maeve. Draw near to the light. 42 defense on Vesta's obscene. Now, he will almost certainly target um, Irving when he gets a chance, just because Irving has way lower res. You've made your last mistake! No, because he'll have to take another attack. Level up for Thelanol. From Ember to Flame. Pretty good level, actually. Yeah, that's going to hit, but whatever. And that one's going to hit, but whatever. We can heal it next turn. Okay, so they traded hits. They both have a 100% chance to hit each other, which I don't like. Impressive. We're going to have to leave him with some form of healing. So he's the one with Astral Slot. Yeah, only a 22% chance to hit. Good luck, mate. Not bad, not bad. Thank you for being a source of heal of EXP for Bianca. Oh, <laughs> all of that healing makes me ill. Right, heal him. So he now has persistent healing. We need to take out these mages. Alas, we can't. Okay, nice. You got a kill on him. You took a hit, but it's fine. How does Irving fare against him? Only 21. That's not actually that bad. We'll send Irving through this way. I actually will attack him, because 21 damage is nothing. Especially when we can deal 76. Even more so if we crit. Right now that we're attacking multiple of him, we're actually making a dent on his health bar. Yeah, 400 damage. In reality, I should attack him, but I want the chest. We're going to get the other one next turn. Yeah, three range healing. Mad. Physic staff. Boy, basically got a physic. Mini physic. Ah. Oh. Right. Let's get you more toward the center. Fenton, can you finish him off? You can, but you'll get hit. Almost a level. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea, but I did. Okay. Are you sure? Slowly, we will get to the one in the middle. I think I might leave Seer with that one. Seer can probably turn him into mincemeat. Okay, she's taking damage now, so I need to heal her. her. Oh, fuck. 22 Damahe. And then they all heal him back to full HP. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, fun. Alright. You got hit? Sia. Bianca, even. I'm sorry. That's probably why you got hit, because I keep calling you for the wrong name. Heal him, and that boosts your crit rate. Would have been better if you got more magic, but... Hey, or whatever. 1500 HP. We'll slowly get through him. Now that more than one person's attacking him each turn. Irving, get that chest. Maeve can head to the other one. Heal. Monroe. In fact, it's better if we just do this. 75 times 2. And a critical. Yeah, eat this, motherfucker. This is what you get for having constant healing. You take crits. 27? I cannot feel 27. That's a really annoying SFX. Right. Range attackers. No. What are you doing? Don't move one tile. A, you get fucked, bitch. Only dealing four damage, you suck. Even if you crit, it's not threatening. This man can crit and I still won't take over ten damage. Right, we're nearly into the first thousand. We've nearly made a dent, boys. Progress. Yes. Now he's almost certainly going to target As you uh, one of the one, uh, Caius because Caius can't retaliate. Okay. Okay. 
Oh wow, he targeted Alden. What? Well, we're dropping you below a thousand. If Alden can crit. Hey, what did I say? Dropping him below a thousand this time, although he'll back above it next time. Look at that. Whittling him down. Okay, maybe this won't take as long as I thought it would, but I do want the chests. So it might take a bit longer. Okay. Your healing matters not in the long run. Open that. Oh my god. Open the chest. More dwarven stew. Get this chest. I'm expecting the ones further away, like these ones probably might have better loot in them. Right, we'll leave Monroe with him. You're almost certainly in his range. Oh no, you're not. You two can play. More HP, Impressive. more magic, more mastery. I mean, you got all your important stats, so it's all good. Heal. Right, Fenton. Not Fenton. Fucking Ren. Finish him off. Level up for Ren. I mean, this map's going to be great for EXP because there's a lot of enemies. Yeah, you should have. Everybody move down, just so we can try and avoid being in this motherfucker's range. Although it's actually hard to keep you out of his range this turn, so I won't actually do that. Here. Kill. Killing the healers is far more important. Yeah, I don't really want Fenton to get attacked, so I feel like if he crits Fenton, Fenton dies. Uh, 33... 17. Ah, no, he can take one. But I'd rather he just didn't take any. Fuck it. <laughs> For the sake of moving him forward. Right. Attack. And then Faust. Heal. Build more critical. Stack more critical hit. More crit rate. Stack it. Oh, look. This guy tried to attack Caius. How nice. That's a... That's basically a perfect level up for you, Caius. Lovely. He attacked her. Perfect. Yeah, he went for Fenton. I assume he chooses his target based on hit rate. Because he definitely has a much higher hit rate on Fenton than he does on either of the other two. A few heals. A few heals will not matter in the long run. You are now permanently below 1000 HP. Alright, time to cash in that crit. Hopefully we get one. Hopefully we get a crit, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, Faust. Come on, I believe in you. I shouldn't have believed in you. You suck. You don't suck, that's just me being rude. Ah oh, yes. Haha, that's a terrible idea. Right, Fenton. What's his attack range? Of course, it covers all of that. Uh, men look set. As you command. No, don't go there. You can attack from range, so do it. Let's get going. Indeed, let us get the going. Because I'm leaving Bianca with this, with him this time. Let's do it. You better not fucking follow me all the way. Like, he may not go all the way this way. He probably will, which is going to be really annoying. Alright, Bianca. Thank you. Actually, maybe healing when He's actually blocked Munro off from getting healing, so we're going to pop an item. Bam. Wait, is this an infinite supply of tier 2 tokens? Oh, hell yeah, am I going to take that. I'm fully going to take an infinite supply of tier 2 tokens. Hell yeah. Why wouldn't I? I mean, I probably left someone that can't counter-attack him in range, but hey, an infinite supply of tier 2 tokens? That's gonna be great. Yikers. Fenton got hit and took a lot of damage. Strength is the only path to peace. Not a bad level, not a bad one. Only a few more healers are left on the map. Not much longer will we have to deal with this motherfucker. 
There's infinite healing. Will it be? Good work. Attack this man. Level up. More CS things. Bye -bye me. It'll, it'll, it'll do. I should probably get a healer down bottom. But whatever. Matters not to me anymore. It should matter to me, but it matters not to me anymore. Right, Monroe. Cook him a little bit. Get your ward refreshed. Maeve, go bait that man in. More tier 2 tokens. I will take those any day of the week. Level up for Bianca. 41. Yep. Hey, more strength, more speed, more dex. I'll take it. And more luck, lowering the chance she gets crit. Assuming it works like it does a Fire Emblem. Level 40 on Liberty. Well, that was a really good level. Speed would have been nice, but hey, we'll take what we can get. Oh shit, he's nearly dead. Well, he's probably going to kill himself this turn if he attacks anyone with range. Yep, and that's the end of that. What an anticlimactic way to end this chapter. With all those chests I didn't get to have fun with. Well, the last like was, was not to me. A lot of gold, though. 1 tier 4 token, 1 tier 3 token, and 3 tier 2 tokens. Here's all the stats, no one cares. Your game is up, Valmyron. You'll pay for the pain you've caused. The pain I've caused? There is no. Ch this is no children's story, Captain. Death is a daily occurrence. Why not benefit? I've changed his voice, haven't I? Probably. Anyone with a mind if I finish the job before the evil pe speech? Please do. No, it should be me. Sloan, it doesn't have to be. Ah, uh, my dear Sloan. Look how strong you become. Only took the combined strength of your friends to best your dear old dad. You'll never be worthy of the name. Finally. I've seen many brutal things. That will make the list. And I'm Batman. He deserved it. I'm proud of her. Her voice has changed as well. What is most difficult is something most necessary. Come, the dawn is breaking. Our troops will be arriving soon. Help me clean this up. We'll be staying here for a couple days. Hmm. They say if you don't give a monster a proper burial, you risk it returning from the dead. They didn't, didn't teach us how to do this in Brookstead. No, they very much did not. You should check in on Sloane. She seemed to handle herself quite well. Can't say I know that's true. Either way, that's your job now, fearless leader. Do you ever plan on not annoying me? Hmm. I've, I've changed Irving's voice now, fuck. Hmm, I've really been giving that some thought, actually. And, no, I don't. Good to, good to know some things never change. And with that... We bring chapter 23 to an end. Next time, we will begin chapter 24, March on Sojin. If you enjoyed this part, leave a like, comment, sub, hit the notification bell, do whatever the fuck you feel like. And with all of that said, I've been Animosity, you've been you, and I'll get you all next time for another video. Ta-ta, for now.